Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a haul from the other discount freight and grocery store that's here near us. So I will go ahead and jump right in. I tried to organize this one a little bit better. First off, my daughter found these Reese's Puffs Bunnies cereal. Super cute. This was only $1.99 for an 11 and a half ounce box. Something new to try. And then we picked up another bag. Uh, this is a 31 ounce bag of this blueberry muffin toasters. Uh, I think these were only $1.99 too for this big old bag. This is one of her absolute favorites. It's the blueberry muffin. Kind of like a version of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I picked up two bags of these Zaps potato chips. These are Evil Eye potato chips. They are kettle style. So on the back, I like spicy chips. I love jalapeno chips. So it says, beware the evil eye. The famous New Orleans voodoo queen Marie Laveau was rumored to have one. In this spirit, Zapp's evil eye kettle style potato chips are subtle with mild heat yet bursting flavor. So we'll see if it's actually mild or if it's super spicy. Either way, I'm sure they're going to be great. I picked up two of those. I think they were like 99 cents a piece. Picked up four of these Ronzoni Smart Taste uh, Spaghetti. It says two and a half times the fiber of regular pasta. These were only 49 cents a piece and it is a 12 ounce box. So I thought that was a really, really good deal. Uh, I was down to just one box left of spaghetti. So I, that was something that I needed to get restocked. The other pasta that I picked up from that store was this um, La Moderna brand. It is called Melon Seed Pasta. But it does, if you look at it, it looks just like little uh, sesame seeds or something. But it is actually pasta. I'm going to use this in some soups. These also were only $0.49 cents a pack for a 7-ounce bag. So I picked up two of those. In the winter time, I like to do a lot of soups. And then they had my daughter's favorite macaroni and cheese back in, the Kraft White Bean Pasta, six ounce box, and this was 89 cents a piece. They only had seven of them. I went ahead and picked up all seven. It is a little bit healthier than regular mac and cheese, but it also tastes like 10 times better. I wish they sold this in the regular stores because I would definitely pick it up. I am gonna try to check out uh, Mama Jeans, which is our health food market here, and see if maybe they carry it regularly. Then they had some of this Martha White brand self-rising flour. Uh, it says with hot rise. So this is what the front of the package looks like. It is a two pound bag, 32 ounces, and this was $1.49, I believe. So I went ahead and picked up two of them. I used the self-rising flour for making a batter for like my sweet and sour chicken and some other dishes that we eat. And I like to keep staples like the flour and sugar and everything in stock in our cabinets. So then I ended up finding Funfetti uh, icing, but it is, <laughs> llamas so if you can see on the package the little sprinkles are supposed to look like little llamas in there and i just really liked the pastel colors it's kind of eastery so uh maybe we'll use the purple icing on like our bunny cake or something this year this was only 99 cents so we picked up two of those to keep on hand for when we do some baking and then on the subject of baking, I ended up finding this uh, Arrowhead Mills gluten-free confetti cookie mix. So this is a 15.25 ounce box and this was $1.49. So I picked up two of them. That way we have some gluten-free desserts. Uh, 99 cents for the Pop-Tarts pretzel Pop-Tarts. My daughter has been hauling these with the chocolate filling and she liked them a lot. This time they had a salted caramel. 
So she is going to try that one. I bet that one's probably going to be good because usually caramel and pretzel, anything like that goes together pretty nice. So this was an eight count box for 99 cents. And then she found a big box this time of the pumpkin pie pop tarts. So this is a 12 count and this was $1.99. Um, I've been finding the little boxes like this. I think this is the first time I found one that was that uh, high of a count. And then she found, she's a pumpkin spice fanatic. My daughter is. Anything pumpkin spice, she will devour it. So they had this Bonnie Maman or Maman pumpkin spice spread. It says it's a product of France. So it's a 13 ounce jar of like pumpkin butter. My cat's trying to take off with my camera again. Let go. Bring you guys back in. So a uh, 13 ounce jar. Um, these were 99 cents a piece. So I picked up two of them for her to have like on bagels or toast or croissants or something. And this jar is really heavy, nice thick glass jar with that lid. So this will be good to recycle and use for some home decor crafts. All right, last food thing from the regular section are these Luna bars. It says whole nutrition bar. It is chocolate chip cookie. So these are gluten free. And it says you get eight grams of protein. Uh, it's made with organic chocolate and oats and it is non-GMO. So this was a 15 count box. You get 15 bars in here. And this was only $1.99. And they were really, really good. We tried one last night. I kind of wish I would have picked up two boxes now. I might end up making another trip in the next couple days just to get a few more things that we ended up liking from this haul. And then this is the last food item altogether from this haul. And then I'll get into the other stuff. And this is the Hershey's Pot of Gold Valentine's Hearts. So you get 25 pieces in there. I picked these up ahead of time for Valentine's Day, so they'll get put up for that. These were only $1.99 a piece at our discount store, so I did pick up uh, three of them, one each for myself, my daughter, and then my grandmother. And then on to the uh, freight part of the grocery and freight store. They had these, which I thought was a really good deal. It's a five-piece uh, kitchen linen. Well, they just call it a kitchen set, but you get two square oven mitts, one oven mitt with the thumb in it, and then you get two really nice kitchen towels. Uh, these were only $2.99 a piece. They are mainstays, so they were originally from Walmart, so they had two colors, this nice light gray, which I really like. I have some other kitchen towels that are that color, and then they had this sort of uh, like a muted teal kind of color. So I picked up one each of those because my hot pads that I have are falling apart. They are super, ah, super, super old. One of them is actually one that my grandmother had for ever and ever, probably even before I was born. So it is threadbare and falling apart. Then I uh, found some more puffs plus lotion. These were 99 cents a box. Uh, I've hauled five of these the last time that I went to that store. So I only picked up two more because I think we still have a few of those left. These are the 72 count boxes. So these were 99 cents a piece. I got the sort of like tan with flowers and then this really pretty uh, purple design that gets us stocked up on some things that we're gonna need throughout the winter. Uh, in the theme of nose care, they had some Arm & Hammer Simply Saline, uh, Saline Nose Mist. This, I think, was $0.99 cents a piece also, which is a really good deal, especially for a name brand one. So I picked up two of those uh, to keep one in each bathroom. We have two bathrooms. Um, <laughs> this is for the cats. I think this was only $0.99 cents also, but it's just a little yarn ball, and it's got... I don't know if you can hear, but there's like a little bell that rings around in there. And then for the dog, I ended up finding him some grain-free treats. These are from Le Petit Treat. So 
eight ounce bags. These were 99 cents a piece. Also, uh, the first one is peanut butter and apple. This is what the bag looks like. Hopefully he will like these. So far, he's liked all of the treats that I've gotten him. The second one is pumpkin, cheddar, and bacon. In a yellow bag. Then they have a red bag. This one is chicken, beets, and rosemary. The green bag is spinach, apples, and mint. Out of all of them, I think this might be the one that maybe might be iffy on whether he'll eat it or not since it's got mint in it. I don't know. We'll have to see. He needs it, though. He needs a breath mint. <laughs> Dog breath is awful. The last one they had was beef, carrots, and peas in this orange bag. So he is loaded up on treats. He shouldn't need any for a good minute. Then they had, whoo, up in their home decor section, all of these nice tall olive branches. So you can see it's probably about three feet all together. Um, these were from Mainstays, so originally from Walmart. I have no idea what the original cost was, but we gave 99 cents a piece for them. It's nice and tall if you have a tall vase to put them in. Otherwise, you could clip the little pieces off. If you do that, you would have one, two, three, four or five different little branches on there. I thought that was a really good deal for 99 cents. Now you can say it's less than Dollar Tree because Dollar Tree's gone up to $1.25. So they had seven of those left. We went ahead and picked up all seven. My grandmother does a lot of floral arrangements and wreaths, so those will be put to good use. Another item that I got ahead for Valentine's Day, my daughter picked this out, is this big old, another probably about 36 inch plush alien. It did, is it Albert or A.A. Ron? What did we name it? A.A. A.A. Ron. <laughs> this is his name. <laughs> if you've ever seen the Key and Peel skit where he's a substitute teacher, that's where that comes from. So this was originally a uh, $9.98. They had them for $4.99 in there. His little tongue and his eyes and everything are glittery. I don't know if the camera will pick that up or not, but I thought $5 for a big plush that size was pretty good because sometimes you can pay $5 for just a little tiny one. sit him off to the side so he's out of the way. The next thing I found um, up in the home decor section, uh, if you watched my last haul from Menards, I think it was a combined haul. It was Menards and somewhere else. I forget what the other store was, but I was trying to find canvas drop cloth to make a slip cover for my couch. And it was not on sale when I got up there and then ended up going and finding a whole section of slip covers at the discount store. Like, what are the odds of that? So this one was only $9.99. It's from Ameritex. It's a non-slip sofa cover, 100% microfiber. It says covered elastic straps for stay put fit. A longer arm coverage. It has storage pockets for remotes, tablets, and magazines. And it is 100% machine washable. So I got it in this nice sort of like beige or tannish kind of color. You can't really see it at the bottom because of this sticker being ripped off, but it is uh, marked as being the largest sofa size that they had. So hopefully it will fit. But for $10, even if it doesn't, uh, I could resize that, cut it apart, and then sew it myself to make it fit. But I think it should be fine. So that was like the deal of the day. And then my daughter found some cute little uh, stencils. These are by Folk Art. You get 76 designs and six different sheets for 99 cents. I thought that was a really good deal. So you can see you get some for like Valentine's and St. Patrick's. They've got Easter on there, some Christmas things, fall decor. And then you get all of your letters. And then on the back, they do show you some... Uh, 
different little bags that they've made with these stencils and some paints. So I picked that up to go with her art stuff. You can't come up here. There's no room. My cat's about to wipe out everything that's on my counter right now. So the last thing in the home decor, I've hauled these before, is this two drawer uh, filing cabinet thing. They just pull out like that. Uh, these are by Pin and Gear. I think before when I priced these, they were like $5 a piece. They are only $1.99 a piece at our discount store. So my daughter needed an extra one of those to put some of her new stuff she got for Christmas in. So I picked one of those up. And then their makeup section this time had quite a few good things. So this is the Physician's Formula Maru Maru Butter. Uh, lip gloss says SPF 15. My daughter picked this up for herself. It's like this purple color for when she's playing dress up. This was, I think, 99 cents. Really good deal for a name brand. Then uh, she picked up a CoverGirl melting pout mat in a purple, also for 99 cents. Uh, my grandmother needed some new tweezers. I ended up finding these ones from Beauty360, which I think when we looked up is originally from CVS. Yeah, the CVS on the back. So this was only 49 cents, and it is a little carrying case that has tweezers and a mirror in it. So that was a really, really good deal. So we picked that up for her. Um, this is the mascara that I've been using. Uh, I originally bought mine at Walmart and then I found some at the discount store for $2.99 so I went ahead and picked it up. It is the uh, Physician's Formula Lash Mixologist. So one side is for longer lashes and one is for like volumized. And I'm getting like a glare on there. But that's what it looks like. Uh, I picked up one of those because I know that I liked it, but then I ended up finding this, which is also from Physicians Formula right next to it. And this is the uh, Instant Lash Extension Kit. So this was $3.99 at the discount store. It comes with your mascara, and then this here is like little brush on lash extension fibers. So on the back, it shows you what it's supposed to do. So you put mascara, then you brush on those fibers and then you put mascara back on over top of those and you can just keep building and building until you're satisfied with it. I actually have mine on right now. It's not the best camera, but it does kind of make them fuller than the regular mascara does and a little bit longer. I liked it. The only thing that I will say is if you ever find this anywhere and you're going to try it, do not put your face makeup, like your foundation and stuff on before this because those little fibers that you brush on get everywhere. As soon as you pop that out of there, they just go flying everywhere in the air. And they're like these little black hairs. And when you brush it on, they get all over your cheeks and stuff. So put your eye makeup on and leave your face bare. That way you can just take like a blush brush or something brush it off of your face and then do your actual makeup because I made the mistake of putting it on after my foundation and I had those hairs stuck and I looked like I had a beard. <laughs> so do it on a bare face. But the stuff does work. Um, if you're somebody that wears contacts or something or if you have really sensitive eyes, I probably would not use the little fiber extension things because they can fall in your eyeball and poke you. But that was $3.99. I like it even if just for the mascara itself that comes in it. I like the curved brush that's on it. And then they had uh, for $1.99 some Physicians Formula liquid liner pins. My daughter and my grandmother each picked one of those up for themselves. I am good on eyeliner. I didn't need any. And then uh, this time they had Carmex which is the only thing that I use as far as chapstick goes. 
they had two packs of the uh, natural lip balm for $1.99. They had this one, which is shea, nourishing shea butter. And then they had one that was peppermint. I had hauled uh, previously, I think from like Burlington or somewhere, to a pack of watermelon flavored ones. And I ended up paying like $4 for that. So $1.99 for this was a really good deal. Chapstick is always needed around here in the winter time, especially with the cold air if you're outside moving around and doing stuff. And I believe that was the last item that was on that haul. Aside from, I did get a big package of ballpark beef hot dogs. They're in the freezer. I'm not going to run and get them right now. But it was a 16 count pack for $2.99 of the all beef franks. So that was a really good deal. I picked those up to have on hand just either to have like hot dogs one night for something quick or make pigs in a blanket, you know, whatever. Anytime I can find something super cheap like that, I always put it in the freezer, especially meat. Meat will keep, if it's wrapped nice, anywhere from three to six months in the freezer, depending on what it is. So far, I haven't had any issues with any of it from the discount store, but I don't get anything that's like way out of date and I don't get anything that is obviously freezer burnt whenever you're looking at it in the store. So I've been lucky so far. The hot dogs themselves look pretty good. The package didn't have any kind of frost or anything inside of it, so they should be fine. That was it for this haul. If you enjoyed it, please give us a big thumbs up. It helps support the channel. Also, if you enjoy this content, subscribe and check out some more of our videos share one with somebody that you think might enjoy them as well so they can subscribe also and we will see you guys in our next one